information for the county's indigent. But, as Beth Tobin reports, it's a decision that isn't made all that easily. A cemetery burial is part of American religious tradition. But if you're poor and can't pay, you may not be able to be a part of this ritual. Tough budget times in the county are pointing more and more towards cremation. We're looking at being as efficient as possible and utilizing the resources that we have instead of going out and duplicating what's already available. Even the simplest burial is expensive. Last year, the county spent about $130,000 interring the county's poor. We have a crematory here. We're able to do that service, and uh, then the cremains would be uh, available for the family to dispose of the way they want it. They want to have ground burial, uh, scattering, retention, whatever they want to do, they'll be able to do if that comes into play, but of course we don't know yet. But changing to cremation goes against the grain of many we spoke with who believe a traditional burial is the least that can be done for the deceased. One of my family members, I'd rather have them buried to go in the same way they came out instead of cremated. I, th I would like to bury my mom, you know, and, and, and the way she came in. You know, but to cremate, no. And I believe you should have a choice there, too, as to how you want to be buried. So I wouldn't agree with cremation just to save the county money. If they save it there, they're probably wasting some other place anyway. So. I don't think the indigent care. The John Doe's and other unidentified people who die in Tulare County end up here. And all that's left to remind us of their life is just a number etched on a mortar block with hundreds of others. But we haven't uh, uh, set any time limits on ourselves. Uh, we want to be thoroughly satisfied that what we're doing is the right thing before we take action. In Visalia, Beth Tobin, the 10 o'clock news.